Hey Scorpio, it's Tasha, aka Mama Jim, aka Jim the Butterfly, and this is your December 13th through the 31st by Weekly Tarot Scope. Um, I apologize, y'all. I just couldn't get um, y'all in along with four other signs. Couldn't get everybody in on the same um, at the same time, and I didn't have time during the week to catch back up again. But here I am, and I was determined to get these in before the 13th starts, and we're about three hours shy. It's about 9 o'clock, so I'm putting these out. Um, I want to say thank you, excuse me, to everyone that's been liking, sharing, and subscribing to these videos, um, per purchasing personal readings for me, and following me on Instagram. I truly appreciate it. I'm doing something a little different this time. I am shuffling. Let me see the shuffle process. View the shuffle process of how I come up with these cards. And um, it's a little different, but Mama Jim never said that she's like everybody else. She's definitely her own person. I like to talk in third person anyway. Mama Jim is. Mama Jim ain't. Mama Jim will be. Okay. Whatever. Let's just see. Let's get to this thing here. Yeah, I know y'all are eager. I'm eager to see what Scorpio has coming in for them. So, Spirit, what do we have? Can you please show me Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising? This is a general reading. If it doesn't apply, um, look at your rising sign. Look at your, your moon sign. Um, Let's see, this reading may apply to some, it may not apply. It may, it may, where, where it may have applied, uh, it may have applied last week or last month, there's a chance that it might not apply this time. You know, that's just how it goes. You know, it's, 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 it's a hit or miss thing sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't apply because whatever message that, uh, resonated with you is still, the energy is still strong from that message. So just take those things into consideration, guys. And just remember with these bi-weeklies, you have, you know, is a two-week period before and after these uh, these readings are, you know, for the time period that these readings are read for. Now that just shout out for whatever reason. So we're going to keep that. I don't know what that is, but we're going to put it right there and just keep it. Put it right down there. Hold on. We'll... Uh-oh. Sorry. We'll keep it and see what it has to say. But um just remember that these it can very well um go in the apply to the two preceding weeks that uh I'm reading for right now. Excuse me. Or it can go into the um the re the weeks that succeed this one so that will put us well into two weeks into January into the new year so excuse me guys so we okay we, we just getting all over the place here all right let's start again okay. Scorpio December 13th through the 31st Spirit, please show me what you have. Turn that down, son. What you have. What messages you have for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising. December 13th through the 31st. What messages do you have? You have like cars just popping out by the wayside. So we just going to keep them too. I'm drawing three cards for the week of December 13. Three cards for the week of the 20th and two cards for that last week going into um, January. Okay, guys? And then I want... All right, 
Plus, you had some bonus cards. So let's look at the, the bonus cards first and see what we have. Actually, let's go how they came out first. The Emperor. And the Major Arcana card. Judgment. Mm. The Nine of Swords. So, you know, whatever the situation is there, and I haven't, you know, we haven't turned over our other cards yet, but whatever situation this is, you know, order and structure is being called. I feel like um, your, your, your mind is just all over the place. You don't have a grip on what's going on. You don't have a, a, a firm grip on, on what's going on in and around you right now. So let's take a look at the first week. Yeah, you have the devil card. Now don't read in reversals. The page of wands. The high priestess. Going into the second week. The Ten of Wands. The Empress. And the Six of Swords. With the emperor and the empress in here, it makes me feel like this is this is very much a um, a relationship reading, guys. Okay, uh, that's what I feel. The world, wow, and the star. So I mean, right off the bat, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven major arcana cards in this reading right here. This is tr tremendous energy. Um, involved going um, as we're exiting out of 2000 or as you are exiting out of 2015 into 2016 now just off the bat by so many of these um, major arcana cards present I would not be surprised if if this reading would actually go into January to the end of January for some some people okay this may possibly apply. I feel like it may go a full month out. Okay. But let's just, let's, let's, blah, 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 blah. let's just look at the first week. We have the devil card, like I said, the page of wands and the high priestess. What I feel is that a lot of y'all have been um, approaching the situation from a very childish point of view or a very childish um the way you're acting about a situation is very childish um, or someone could be acting very childish with you this could be this could actually be your own child okay this could actually be your child that you know that's an Aries Leo Sagittarius fire a very, a very passionate child very vibrant um, very fiery energy lots of energy high energy person whoever this person is um, If this is if this is a um, if this is a child, your child, what I feel like is um, I actually feel like you are enabling them. I feel like this is a very codependent relationship with the with the devil card here. Um, this this child and I, it, for whatever reason this it may be a child or it may be a, an adult child that is acting childishly let's say that because it could actually go that way too because the page doesn't necessarily have to present as a, a, a child it could be someone who's very immature and I feel like this is a very immature person if it's not a child it's a very immature person or a very um, an, an adult child that is acting very immature right now and um, for whatever reason, you're feeling the need to step in and to keep saving this person, 
from them from themselves with the devil card and you feel like out of, out of obligation that you have to help this person all the time and be there for this person but i feel like this relationship is turning very codependent and i um and i feel like you're starting to see that you're going to be starting to see that if you haven't started to see it you may be really just owning up to it right now you're you're starting to recognize um what how how what your role is in this relationship with this person um, and that what I feel like is that's the, one of the reasons why um, one of the reasons why you have the Emperor card here and the judgment card here and the nine of swords is I see this is you you're worrying about this person at night maybe they're they're not living the life that you would you know you pictured them living but you're trying to you've been trying to help them out as much as you can but you're still worried about them I feel like you're worrying you're really stressed out right now and you're you're looking at yourself and you're looking at the situation with the judgment card and you're, you're, you're blowing the horn you may be calling them out on their shit you know maybe the Emperor's coming in the energy of the Emperor's coming in and the energy of the, the judgment is making is calling attention to yourself and your this situation um, now, if this is a person that is, you know, doesn't have a child or um, they're not involved with anyone like that, I feel like um, from a relationship standpoint, I feel like from a relationship standpoint that uh, you and your sweetie y'all are doing the damn thing like y'all are really um i feel like y'all are re-exploring your sexuality together if this is you know i should say this beforehand this is for 18 18 years and older but i feel like y'all are really exploring y'all are like two kids y'all are really enjoying yourself um look at all that that fire look at all that red there's a lot of passion there's a lot of lust going on here a lot of um just pat just passion fiery burning up desire for each other here you know there's this energy with the page of wands it's like y'all doing things that you hadn't done in years y'all may be revamping i hear um rekindle the flame between you and your sweetie this is a good week to do so if you've been feeling like your relationship has um taking a, just a little low point right now and you're trying to do things to get things back in order this is a perfect time to bear fruit look at these little fruit this is a perfect time to to open up new avenues in your relationship and try all these little new little you know kinky little things you know what i'm saying you go to the little the little toy store and get you something and or you know what i'm saying experiment with some um <laughs> jellies and creams and whatever i just feel like you're like ooh, let me try that Ooh, like i see this person like I see this page of wands holding this wand as if wand is a phallic symbol. Okay, let me just say that the wand is a phallic symbol. But I, I, I get a vision of somebody going to like some type of sex store or whatever, and they're looking at dildos. I know that's really weird, but I'm just telling you what I see. But because you and your mate have opened up and explored, it's making y'all feel a little bit y'all feeling more free and more secure in your relationship you may even be discovering side discovering sides of each other that you didn't even realize with the hit with the high priestess you know the real freak is going to come out with the high priestess i'm just saying so that's just for the for um for couples i really don't see anything um you know perceived negative for the couples i really don't see anything negative for um this person who has this child or you know dealing with this childish person but I do feel like this this for people who are you know not in a, a relationship or anything like that some of y'all may be dealing with dealing with a very childish person that you feel like you feel obligated to deal with with the you know with the devil card and I feel like there's some enabling going on in this relationship too with whoever this person is but um and it's been weighing heavy on you. Still talking about this child or this immature person. Maybe you've been carrying their load. Maybe they have been, 
maybe you have, um, they have placed their load on you to carry. And you've been carrying their load for them. You know, maybe it's been that type of deal. And um, it's just gotten so hard for you to bear. It is it's too much. It's too much. And uh, But right here in the center, you have the Empress. I feel like with the Empress coming in, with the Empress coming in in this situation, the Empress is coming in to give you some nurturing advice, to give you some very, um, almost covering or protective type energy here. Um, with this Empress, Empress, I also feel like she's coming in to, um, almost like the, vo I'm hearing the voice of reason here. You know, it, this may be a couple coming in, talking to you about this situation. I feel like these, these two people, whoever they are, these are two people that you, their opinions and what they have to say, you hold very highly. And um, I feel like the Empress is reminding you that you can't, um, for one, it's time for you to lay your burdens down and bear your own fruit. It's time for you to put this down and bear your own fruit. You, you still have a process that you're needing to go through. Okay? And, and she's offering you, it's almost like she's offering you an, another way, another avenue. Um, I see this, this circle almost like, cause this is, this is an ankh. It's, it's a, it's not the traditional type of looking ankh, but it is an ankh. And I feel like she's offering you almost like a different portal, a different way to look at this situation to get out of it. She's offering you an opportunity is what I see here. Another avenue to travel down. Like, you know what? You really don't have to, it doesn't have to be this way. You know, you, you can you can continue to move forward. And I feel like, again, you know, right after that with the Six of Wands, you are. You're going to be moving to a, a different, you may be moving. You may be, I feel like you're going to be separating yourself from this person, whoever this, this, uh, this person is who you've been giving so much to. Now, if this is a relationship situation, um, I feel like, this Ten of Wands is talking about following, well, going into, coming from this first week where you guys are just really get, reconnecting with each other and having a lot of fun and putting the flame back into it. Um, I feel like it's going to make the relationship not feel as burnt, as heavy. I feel like it's actually, this is... I'm actually, even though I'm seeing, I'm sorry, even though I'm seeing this card in the upright, I feel like the feeling that I get is that it's in the reverse, okay, which is very strange, but it happens to me sometimes. Um, I, that's what I feel like, you know, because you have um, let loose with your partner, y'all have had a lot of fun, you know, the weight is, is some, it's like some of these wands can, he can put some of the wands down right now. You know, y'all got y'all are feeling very confident. You're feeling renewed and restored within your sexuality and your sex, your relationship, your sexual relationship with your partner. You're you're feeling um, very sexy and desirable and confident. You know, and this is actually is going to move you in a better spot mentally. You know, you guys are going to be able to accomplish much more because it's like the level of trust. I don't know, with this high priestess card y'all, for whatever reason, like, I feel like somebody's going to be surprising somebody. They got some freaky deaky shit in them. I'm just saying. Um, if somebody has some freaky deaky, like, I didn't know you, you done pull all type of tricks out the box with this card right here. I do. Because, you know, again, the high priestess, she knows what the hell she's doing. You know, or it could be a man too, but they know what the hell they're doing. And um, they, they, they have the knowledge, they have the wisdom, they have the experience. And, you know, but again, this is not the person that will... will Sit there and brag to you like, boy, I'm gonna put it on you. They just like, mm -mm, just come here, sit down. <laughs> she won't say shit. 
But when she get on top, she she's a bad mother. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I hope this is for people. Let me. See, I have to put a little disclaimer on this video. It's got to be for eighteen and, and older. But yeah, I feel like somebody's gonna be showing a side of themselves that you just that you just didn't see. Like, damn, baby, you got all whatever. You know, you did that. And you know, like I said, with the six of swords. You know, the six of swords. All people want to look at it as a moving card. And for this person that you've been dealing with, that you've been definitely doing their load and your load too yeah i do see a physical move or it could yeah i feel i feel like it's a physical move you you you're over it but for those that are in a couple situation um y'all are moving on to a better spot like this rekindle the flame the, the rekindle the flame um nights or you know times that y'all had and you know the the time that y'all experienced with each other like man it it has pushed you guys into another um it's it's helping you to transition to another phase in your relationship is what i feel here you know you guys are going to be able to even communicate more effectively it's bringing some balance back into your relationship with this six you guys are being able to talk and things are a little bit more peaceful, so I, I think that's cool. And in both in, in in both situations, you know, I feel like y'all, whoever, if y'all had to, you know, went through a dull spot in your relationship, you had to go go through that. It, it was like a cycle. It was a test. It was a cycle that you guys had to pass, and you passed it. You know, what I'm saying y'all completed that cycle. Now you can move on to something else. For this and and again, like I said, with the star card here, um, it has it has renewed your faith in your relationship. You know, it really has, because you see now that you have, like I said, you've you've gotten some healing. You you've able you've been able to um, conquer whatever this test was and you persevered and it's like okay well we, we persevered through that little low stump but here we are we're going to move on to something else you know you're feeling very triumphant right now within your relationship and restored there's a beautiful healing you're going into the new year with your relationship feeling uh, very healed very restored you guys have reconciled some feelings. You have bared your soul. You look at all this blue. There's communication. She's pouring water. You know, there is communication. There's vulnerability. You know, your your faith has been restored within your relationship. This is very, very beautiful. And this card, um, also the, the star card is under the sign of Aquarius. So again, you are heading into the new year with this very um, just tranquil, feeling in like restored feeling rejuvenated type feeling within your relationship within yourself and within your relationship okay you guys like i said this star card I, this star right here um it's represented by the number 17 which breaks down to eight so it does talk about you know moving forward or having some movement or um taking the initiative and I feel like you guys did. You took the initiative. And that's why you, this is like a lesson learned. You took the initiative. You knew what needed to be done. You know, the, I feel like the passion was dying in your relationship. And you, you did what you needed to do to spark it up. And it really did bring you back to a deeper um, level of intimacy. This card talks about, the star card also talks about a, a intimacy. You know, maybe you guys, you know, and it also can represent the tantric sex too. So maybe you guys, I don't know, with this high priestess. Maybe somebody revealed some things that they, you know, some little tricks or some things that they just, you know, let's, let's try something different, baby. Let's meditate before we, before we make love tonight. Let's, you know, let's, who knows, you know, who knows, but whatever, whatever this was, that did it because it's like now a new layer of the, a new layer of a person has been revealed that you didn't even know about your partner or maybe they didn't know about you. So that's a beautiful thing. Now, when it gets to this person or whatever the situation was where you're breaking away from and you're moving to, again, you learn the lesson. You learn the lesson and you feel more restored within yourself because I feel like with you moving away, 
you only taking your portion. You know, right here, you were the Ten of Wands. You were carrying everything. And it tells me that this cycle has completed. That just further lets me know that this was a cycle. This is just a phase that you were going through with this person. It may have been a relationship. It could have possibly been a relationship. But I just don't feel like this is a person that you had uh, had romantic dealings with. You know, I'm not, I, I don't feel that. You know, but uh, I just, I, I really feel like this could be, um, I feel like this could also be a, a, a really be a, a parent child situation, but regardless of the fact, we had wands, those 10 wands here. You, you put four down, you took six, and you went on and you moved on. You realize what it is now. You can't keep giving and giving and giving and giving. Because, you know, again, this person, they don't understand. They're very immature. You know, they're very, um, I feel like they're very narcissistic. Not necessarily meaning to, but they just, they don't realize that they are. But they're very narcissistic. And they are um, very self-centered. Me, 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 me. But you have to help me. Me, me, me. And here you are. Because I feel like this is you right now. <sighs> I don't really want to. But I'm going to do it anyway. Because I feel like it. But then when you do it. You, you feel like a martyr. Or you feel like you know, you're being used. So you, I feel like you're going to be putting the end to it. And it may just be. yeah. I feel like the, the emperor and the empress could be a couple. Or a trusted friends coming in to tell you like. You are worth so much. Uh oh. You are worth so much more than that. You don't need to be doing all of that. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, you could have ended that shit right now. You're like, I see. <laughs> I see that. You know that this person is doing that, and because these people are coming in, because I feel like these are people that have been watching the situation from the outside in. I mean, from the outside, and they 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 haven't really said too much, but they're coming to to give you a, a boost, to push you on your way. To, to keep moving forward because it was just a lesson that needed to be learned. It was just a phase. Another phase. Um, now, for these cards on the outside, uh, the, the cards that fell out for the couples, um, I actually feel like these cards came into play with you guys before you had, before you had your you know, your nights or nights of passion. I feel like some some of y'all may be even going to do a small little getaway, you know, to reconnect with your partner. But this is, I feel like this is how you were feeling beforehand. Like you were really feeling unsure about where your relationship was going to go. Um, you were really looking at it, thinking that, you know, it may not, um, you don't know if it has enough um, juice to survive. But um, I feel like, again, this emperor and this empress could be, trusted friends or um, another couple that you're close to coming in offering you guys some advice like you know maybe y'all need to get away because this this they're a match this could be you and your in your partner too you know this could be y'all y'all are, are a perfect match you know the emperor and the empress they're made for each other and she is so desirable and she she is they're like perfect balance to me you know Maybe that's what it is. Y'all, because y'all took some time to reconnect, y'all got more balance within yourself. But it took these two people bringing this back in. Maybe you had to hone on your feminine side and he had to own his feminine side. I mean, his masculine side. Because she is, she, she embodies the divine feminine. Uh oh, that's not, no, sorry. She embodies the divine feminine. She's a nurturer. She's, she's very intuitive. She's receptive. You know, she's she's that yin energy. You know, she she's the she's the creator of um of life, or she she can carry life within her body. The Empress talks about her, a woman that can that's pregnant, when she's very sensual and she's very sexual, and you know she she is that. But then she's also motherly too. And then you know she's that type of woman when you see her walking down the street, the men just you know they just she could be fully clothed. You know, this is not somebody that's half dressed. She's fully clothed and men can't help it. They just stop and they just look at her and she's just looking at her like, what? She doesn't even see it, you know? And the same thing with the emperor. You know, he's so he's so masculine and he's authoritative and he can be very um, 
dominating. He can dominate the situation and take over and be a leader. He has power. He has resonance in the way he speaks. You know? Maybe that, that that's where it could be too that you you guys because you taking the time to explore and you know let loose. This card talks about letting loose, letting go of things. You know, it can talk about being bonded, but it can also talk about when you have been just caught up in the rigmarole all the time, i.e. this ten of wands right here, you've been working so hard, it's like you could you could actually it's telling you to get out. Have some fun, you know? So yeah, you know, I feel like you guys, regardless of the situation though, you are heading into you you're starting off the new year with some very excellent energy. Uh, very positive, transformative, tra um, peaceful energy. You're you're going in 2016, very very solid and very um, peaceful, very self assured and self aware of who you are and where you are in your relationships within yourself and in your in your own personal well in the world. So that's a beautiful thing. Um, if this resonates with someone, hit me up for a personal reading. My description is in the my description. My link is in the description box. Um, and have a happy new year, guys. Thank you. Bye bye.